We are aiming to improve the care and support offered to the residents of Tameside and Glossop. This trailblazer has given us the impetus to be able to drive personalised care and support forward much quicker. Person-centred conversation to me means not just about that individual and what they need, it's what they want as well and what they want means everything because it changes their life. When I first met Jerry, she'd just come out of hospital and she felt very isolated. So I, I asked Jerry what I could do to make a difference to her life. I said, well, I haven't been upstairs for two years. So, you know, to be able to get upstairs would be absolutely fantastic. And now I've got um, a stair lift in and they've put me a, a fantastic wet room in, it, put up in the bathroom and a hospital bed. It's just been absolutely great. I missed having a, a dog because I'd also had a dog all my life. Um, but I couldn't have them because I couldn't take it out. And then they put me in touch with this Pet Connect who come and visit you so they can have a chat with you and they bring a dog with them. It's made such a difference to my life because these people listen to you. Fed up of not going out and we see four walls all taps. I used to go to football, I used to follow Manchester City for, for, from when I was ten year old. After Barry started to go out and build that confidence, he also started to take more pride in his own appearance and wanted to change that in the appearance of his house. I couldn't manage without him. We have seen a shift in the culture between social services and the care agencies. You know, we've strengthened communication and information sharing. Because they're often, in fact invariably, um, the people who know service users best, because they're better engaged with neighbourhood teams and with, the, with services, that means that service users' voice is being heard more as a result. We realised that we needed to combine and, and do joint reviews so that people weren't repeating themselves. We have a good link between the practice and the carers um, that are they're looking after our patients. Each service user is assigned a key worker and it's just somebody going having a brew and a sit down and a catch up with them. People respond differently. Care workers will then come and report back to us if, they, if there's any issues or concerns before and then we can deal with it straight away. So I've got a lady whose son, who's her main carer, has gone into hospital. Carer came back and told me this, the service user didn't. So straight away we can use bank hours then to put extra calls in for it until the son comes out. To look after her. We're allocating hours for that provider to work flexibly and fluidly. Unless you've got the backing behind you of a council to actually make those changes, then the individual can still feel quite powerless. So we were asking people what they wanted, but it's only now that we've got the new model that the, the client is very much in the driving seat of their care and their support plan, and, and they can make changes and real changes that happen really quickly. rather than just writing things like prepare breakfast, wipe down the surfaces, empty the bins, we're looking what else is available out in the community so that people can perhaps join a breakfast club and go and have um, breakfast with other people. If we know that someone's socially isolated in the Stirling Bridge area, then we look at uh, different sessions like the luncheon club, like Crafty Spoon is down the corner. It's all about connecting people and bringing people together to support each other. If they don't do this, they sit in the flat all day, you know, just staring at some staring at the wall and thinking about them, things that used to be. It's better for them to make a, a brew with them and watch each other, have a natter and whatever. Sam is one of our clients, found out that she was a national champion in boccia and then from that it seemed a shame to me that she was so good at sport 
yet she hadn't played it for over 15 years. Um, so I had a little bit of a conversation with her around that and it was due to the fact that there wasn't one locally. There's able body, there's visually, visually impaired, there's I'm you know, there's people like Sam. As long as yeah. you can get the ball rolling, it doesn't matter how you roll it. You can actually kick it as well. I do. I it's hard. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. You have to train. Uh, a lot. <laughs> indeed, indeed, yeah. You're You <laughs> can just see a huge change in Sam. Um, she's just really engaged, it's bringing out all her skills and talents and she's just really excited for the future and she feels great that she can give back to the community. Ultimately it's about people being happy and that means listening well and recognising that people are the experts in their own lives. We've seen some fabulous work going on around social prescribing, community connecting, the joint reviewing and, and care and support planning, providers joining the, the huddles. The partnerships have really strengthened and it feels as though it's made an incredible difference. I feel so privileged to be able to support people to achieve the things that they want to and realise that just because you're starting to receive care doesn't mean that your life's over. It can be the beginning in many ways. Mm -hmm.